Hello everyone, this is Dr. Murphy bringing you our new transplant series, Banff and Beyond, where we will predominantly look at transplant biopsies for the evaluation of rejection as well as dissect the Banff guidelines and how we utilize those guidelines to come to a diagnosis of rejection. Now, it's important to start by understanding where we came from. So early in the 1990s, a consensus meeting with numerous clinicians gathered in order to create a sort of uniformity and provide a framework for the evaluation of transplant biopsies. Since then, numerous meetings have occurred to further strengthen and adjust the guidelines as new research and evidence emerges. So going forward, we will utilize the Banff criteria, go through each of these different criteria, including things like interstitial inflammation, tubulitis, and glomerulitis, as well as all the other points on the chart, and how we use these different findings to establish diagnoses for rejection in the transplant setting. Now, before we can actually assess for the evaluation of rejection, we need to first assess whether a biopsy is adequate for evaluation. Per Banff guidelines, Banff stipulates that a biopsy must have at least two cores of cortex or two separate areas of cortex within the same core, as well as at least 10 glomeruli in two arteries. Now, minimum criteria stipulates that we can have seven glomeruli in one artery. So if we look at this biopsy, you can see that we have multiple cores of cortex, which is excellent, as well as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten glomeruli, as well as three arteries. So this biopsy absolutely meets criteria for the evaluation of rejection. I want to say thank you for your time, and uh, please stay tuned going forward as we start to evaluate transplant biopsies. Thank you.